Jamaica has caught the attention of the world with its hypnotic music, delicious cuisine, and breathtaking beaches. We also had an immense influence on the fashion industry and fashion styles. We created some of the world's greatest supermodels, most notably Grace Jones, Tyson Beckford, and Naomi Campbell. The most widely known and worn Jamaican apparel is the Mesh Marina. Good luck. Yeah, I want. So, where did the Jamaican fashion phenomenon come from, and why has it remained a mainstay in Jamaican's fashion repertoire for over 70 years? As we are so all about our culture. Whether we want to realize it or not, our culture is ingrained in us. So, we grew up as the Kapitni, we see our little father in our little mesh marina, we were in our little mesh marina too, and I see that, like the little youths and them little mesh marina and things. So, it's a, it's like a, it's a part of our culture. If, it, if, it, if, it, if a coffee up in a mesh marina, can she know where the culture come from? Yeah, man. See there? Them thing ever wear, not Jamaica. For the first time for me to put on a mesh marina, it was in the, in 68. In a them time there, yeah. As a youth going to school, putting it on and wearing it and open my shirt and make them say, say, whoa, you're a bad man. I say, nah man, I'm only a bad man alone, we get them closer. Them say, yeah, but I say, whoa. I love Mesh Marina because it's convenient for me to wear. You know what I say? The fact that it have a mesh, it can feel more breeze, you know what I say? Comfortable, you know what I say? Um, it's not so hot, you know what I say? Even I can wear a jacket and be it a Mesh Marina under it and I still feel cool. With the mesh, you feel more cool. And if you should add coming into your clothes and you feel extra hot and you take off that. You don't have to take off the marina. Because the mesh, the breeze will touch your skin the same way. Say, so, yo, the same time I wear a mesh marina, it relates to me more gangster side. You know, I feel like when, so even if I wear a rasta, I should become a no say, yo, thugs will wear that. And me have that thug is the inner myself, same way. I wear it too. A lot of the younger reggae artists also contributed extremely in the worldwide interest in Mesh Marina, sporting the shirt in music videos and doing live performances. Other celebrities like NBA stars and the music legends have been spotted wearing the Mesh Marinas. When they go and party or used to have those famous sets like Arrows, Tobies, King Atani, Papa Root, those sort of sets, we used to go to those dance. Now, when you're going to those dance, you have to be properly groomed. Big youth, same big youth there. Shit, he was a trend. He's a, he was a trendsetter and still is a trendsetter. Henrik Brun, a commander in the Norwegian army, invented the first vest in 1933 with the help of a company called Brinch. The idea of this visit originated from Henrik's frustration with the undergarments provided to troops. He imagined a garment that would give warmth, reduce dampness, while also regulating body temperature. Norwegian King Hakon VII was a supporter of Henrik's original design. British working class men began wearing the string vest, as it was referred to by the English in the 1950s. While the style declined in England during the 1960s, it became a mainstay in Jamaican culture. England. From England, you know. My brother is coming forward with them in. Yeah, I'm going to town. We see that the ghetto, my mother tells me it's still my brother. Well, you know, the man, they have their water mesh marina. Any color. I recently went to Golden Green and come in, you know. Most of the plain color used to run things. Yeah, plain color used to run things back in the days. So to the rest of the party, I get high up now. The rest of the party, I get grand child straight away. Rasta man like for wear mesh marina too, you know what I'm saying? It's just a, it's just a, a thing, you know what I'm saying? It's just a thing with Jamaicans, you know, it's a fashionable thing and, you know, it's, you know, me like to do that because it enhances my fashion and bring across a sense of originality. Like many items Jamaican use, the mesh marina is not manufactured in Jamaica and shipped from abroad. 
no judgment to the Chinese. Even just the other day, I was watching a thing. The, in Africa, they're closing down a lot of their stores because they take our ideas all the time and talk about why we are not doing it. This is what I'm saying. They 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 take these things and then they lock off the market, lock off because the, they have the money to lock off the market. And then we get knocked. We we can't even, we don't have the money. to. And they, they put together too, and we're not united. Tiny take over my business. Let me show you. Me remember what time I can buy. My brother, Chinese to come here, come buy all them stuff you have. Where's the one make? Is it time to stuff Tiny I bring you now? Yeah. We didn't come buy them from. Thousands of dollars, my brother, to buy, sell them craft. Yeah. I don't go over there, pot on them, pirate them, and come in there for them, for them material. Yeah, they can't get our material, you know. They come with the material. Well, it looks right there. You know, the thread itself would probably cost about 1500 And that's probably like what it costs to make a machine-made one, you know what I mean? But then, it, my, if I'm going to crochet a mesh marine, it's going to look nowhere near the machine-made stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's kind of like um, fast food versus gourmet. Jamaica look, the Rasta looks. Yeah. Yeah, man, them pirate women, China them. India and them gone and the business to the India and them. You know, Jamaica can't have mesh marina. Nothing wrong with that. The red gold and green mesh marina, I'm serious, you have Jamaica. It... <laughs> Technically it is. Because the people that make it not really wear it like that anyways. And we are wear it, so ours. The Chinese economic impact goes way beyond the manufacturing of Jamaican cultural apparel. Over the past decade, China has funded the construction of roads, bridges, convention centers, and housing in Jamaica. For example, the Beijing Highway, completed in 2016, was fully financed by the Chinese investors. Chinese company, China Merchant Port Holdings, fully owns Kingston Container Terminal in the port of Kingston, which facilitates import and export to and from Jamaica. Yeah, it's a history thing. And, and, and yesterday today, we are back. I had a really hot tire now. What do you say? Best Marina really hot top right now.